Welcome back to another episode of No Time to Be Hungry. Mm. Today you notice I'm at home with a, a beer. It's 5.30 and I'm standing in front of a barbecue pit. So today I am going to make the gang attempt to try to make a Texas style steak. steak. A Texas steak. I'm always uh, talking bad about steak. I think a lot of it is it's not it's not prepared, marinated, cut or cooked properly, in my opinion. Coming from Texas, I guess we're kind of picky with our steaks. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we went to a place known for some of the best, probably the best beef in Thailand. And it happens to be in Isan in Sakonakong province, not too far from where we're at today. Mm -hmm. So we went to Po Yang Kam. This is a, it's a co-op. It was founded back in 1980. There's quite a bit of history on this place. Pan Yang Kam. It's also known as the Kobe beef of Thailand. With the assistance from the French government, they have developed its own cattle breed using two of the best breeds from France to interbreed with the local cattle. The cattle here are all fed natural, no chemicals, no hormones, nothing artificial. This beef is sold throughout Thailand and is known as some of the best beef. But the cows were actually imported here from Europe and have been bred to uh, perfection. And actually they sell these cows all over. They sell the semen and they're trying to get a lot better quality beef in Thailand. So we bought, it's not the cheapest steak. It's a lot cheaper than Kobe beef. It's probably not as good as Kobe beef, but they call it the Kobe beef of Thailand. But uh, we bought some the other day. I'm going to be cooking a couple of them. I got one that's really marbleized. I'm going to save it for some fajitas on another video some other time. But uh, I, we're going to have to do this Thai style because I think Thai people really kind of prefer their steak overcooked, not burnt, but chopped up in little pieces. They and have their pieces. They so have we're going to make them a piece and me and Paige are going to have a nice, fat, juicy steak. I couldn't secure any baked potatoes. I had a big plan, but I made some bread. So we're going to be making some Texas toast, mm -hmm. some broccoli with cheese and a nice, fat, juicy Thailand Kobe beef steak. Paige likes hers well done. I'm gonna attempt to make mine medium well and I'm gonna burn the crap out of there, so. <laughs> anyway. Well, here's the gang mafias. Mama, Matt Tim, and Maroon is over here on the side. So I marinated my steaks with the best kind of Texas style seasoning that I could acquire here in Thailand. Now, some of this stuff was sent by some awesome subscribers, but uh, this is what I use to marinate my steaks. Okay, so I don't have all of the complete ingredients that I need like it would be back in Texas, but I have most of it. So here we have some brown sugar, about three or four teaspoons. Usually I make too much and I end up tossing most of it away, but uh, we're gonna put a couple of tablespoons of 
sea salt. That's a tablespoon. And this is something that actually somebody sent me, which is a Texas, like a steak seasoning. And this is a this is actually you can buy. It's a seasoned pepper, and you can buy this in Thailand. A little bit of cornstarch. Now this is cumin, which they do sell everywhere here in Thailand. So about a half a teaspoon tablespoon of cumin. And then we've got, I have an endless supply of garlic salt. So two tablespoons of garlic salt. We're gonna mix that all together. There you go. I almost forgot one of the most important seasoning. Ground chili pepper. Now my steaks have been marinating for about two and a half days now in the refrigerator. So hopefully they're nice and uh, tender and gonna have some awesome flavor. Thai style. They do sell awesome barbecue pits here in Thailand though. I just don't have one. <laughs> Let's cut into this one. It's pretty thick. I don't know why they don't like it pink. I think they think it's like pork. It has to be well done. I'm not sure there's it's difficult to explain to them how to eat different things, but it needs to be a little bit pink inside. But let's cut into it and see, see what it looks like. Okay, let's bring them. This is their steak. Let's bring it in here for them. Oh. <laughs> is this theirs, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Thailand Kobe beef. Let's cut into this thing and give it a try. 
Wow, it's very good. A lot of flavor. Mm. How do I make? How do I make? <laughs> and we have some Thai style dipping sauce to go with it. Mafia made. And a few other dishes on the table. Okay, happy birthday. <laughs> Somebody's birthday. <laughs> Every day is a birthday. The Texas toast. I actually made the bread the other day. I didn't make a video on it because I already made a video in our playlist on how to make awesome, wonderful bread. Mm. I'm so happy right now. If you want a good steak in Thailand, you have to make it yourself. It's best to get a whole piece, not cut, and cut it yourself. And Because uh, I don't know why, sometimes it's cut against the grain and it's not, it's chewy. But uh, if not, make a trip to Sakona Kona. A lot of places sell their beef throughout Thailand. But if you want the best, I think you have to come get it from here. This is a, a Thai omelet with, with pork inside. But what it is, is I made uh, pork tacos, crunchy tacos with uh, pica de gallo. And we had a lot left over. So we saved that and that's what's inside the omelet. Let's give it a Okay, Paul Poots in the house. I call him my uh, cheers buddy. Clan Clan Tsutsoi. Clan Tsutsoi. <laughs> He's gonna try the I told him the beef is not really beef is usually good hot or at least warm but not cold. Okay guys, well I'm gonna end the video on that. Paul Poot said it was very good. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of No Time to Be Hungry. I don't know what adventure we're gonna have next, but uh, we have SongCon right now, which is uh, the Thai New Year. So we should have a lot of dishes being prepared here in the next few days. Gonna bring you guys along for it. I hope you liked today's video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.